This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. If you like this video please hit the like button and if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Alright people familiar with my channel have seen me doing underwater videos for at least 10 years on and off all different ways. Now this sure looks interesting so I have not looked inside the box yet. And you're going to see how terrible I am at opening things, or maybe not. Maybe this is easy. I don't know what this is. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, looks cool. <laughs> oh my. It's bigger than I thought. Okay. That's the surface module. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Some gizmos. This must be the camera, so that's what I'm real interested in. Yes. Oh, very nice. I was afraid it was going to point straight down, but it doesn't. It hangs like, oh, this is going to be good. Hmm, not a lot of moving parts. I think I like it so far. Okay, so I dumped it right off that dock into that canal. The canal is you know, not very clear water at all. I was mostly trying to see if I could steer the unit, which you do from your uh, smartphone, and you watch the underwater video real time while it's happening. I was amazed that there was even this much visibility on the bottom of that canal. I wonder what that is. Maybe it looks like some kind of pipe or conduit. Um, but yeah, so um, you know, just trying to figure out you know how to drive it that was pretty easy. And so I drove it over to the corner of the dock, and yeah, look at that. There's fish down there, and I can see them. So um, this was way more than I expected dumping it into that canal because the the visibility there is. Uh, never very good but wow so quite a few fish those are um, mangrove snappers and uh, yeah if I hope there goes a fish light you know those underwater fish lights people have at their docks um, for at night to watch fish uh, yeah I don't know what I'm doing here I'm dragging this thing you're not supposed to drag the weight along the bottom you're supposed to pick it up and then run the unit but anyway I ran it under the dock and uh, looking out into the light and um, some mangrove snappers so when I uh, saw all that I said all right I've got to take this thing out for real and <laughs> I really didn't hesitate I pretty much within an hour got everything together and uh, headed out in the water and picked really a, a pretty poor day to to play with this thing because the wind is really blowing even though I'm in the lee of the wind um, yeah it's not helping the water quality the clarity any and uh, but the big thing is you know when you've got some wave action on the top well that's going to hurt the stability of the video um, but you know hey, this is the, the first time out with it I'm just happy to see if I can drive it you know can I drive it from here to that dock and uh, and off it goes so it's not going to go too much in a straight line but I'm getting it you know you sit there with your, your smartphone and it's got this little um, thing on there it's kind of like a, a joystick and you just drag your finger around and um, point it where you want it to go so my thought is hey, I want to run it underneath that dock and drop the camera down and uh, see what I'm going to see. You know, probably, again, maybe not the best time of the day to do this either, but I, I just wanted to test it out, see what I was going to see. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and one thing I've learned since then is I could have uh, actually done something to stabilize the image a little bit more, but it's, it's uh, not going to be bad. Okay, the wind is not my friend here, but look at all of these fish. Yeah, the wind's, you know, giving us this this motion on the camera. And like I said, the, what I could have done was let more cable out, and that would have really flattened the weight out and helped stabilize the camera. But, wow, there's a lot under here. That's a decent snook. Uh, there's a lot of species here, a lot of snook. Way more than I expected to see, especially, I don't know, middle of the day, it's pretty shallow. You can see the depth there, 1.4 meters. So, 
I don't know, what was that, five feet, somewhere in there. Nice redfish, sand perch, snook. So, hey, this is, this is my first drop, you know, real drop with the camera. So, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy to see this because if I get this thing out on a calm day with clear water, wow, um, I can really have some fun with it. And I definitely wanted to do a, sh um, a shallow test the first time. Um, but apparently you can use this thing down to 90 feet. Hey, does anybody understand the, the coloration difference on those snook? Like every once in a while I see a black snook and uh, sometimes I see them when I'm fishing. If anybody knows what the deal is with those, um, I'd be curious to know why there, there's a, a color difference there. All right, I'm not sure if this is the case, but if I don't talk, this video is dead silent. So maybe there's no sound coming off this camera. I, I don't know. And that's a school of mullet going by. And I should have wiped those water spots off real well um, before putting the camera down. Hey, that fish there that just went sideways and around the piling, that is a spade fish. It's like a big angel fish. Okay, just a little bit more on this dock uh, because I, I could see the motion um, on my phone. So. What I did was I, I, I saw so many fish, I wanted to get those. But I picked up, ran about a half a mile or so over to another dock. Now this is interesting to me. This, this has got a completely different bottom composition. There are no snook here, at least I don't see any. Uh, there are a lot of mangrove snappers, which I didn't see on the other dock. But it's a harder bottom, a lot of shells and stuff. Uh, definitely more sheep's head. So it's mostly sheep's head and the mangrove snappers. Um, so, you know, whenever I do underwater video is always the worry that you're going to somehow get caught in something. And when I saw this, you know, stuff at the bottom of the screen, and I'm, I'm bouncing a little bit here, and but we're gonna see something pretty cool in a bit. So I'm, at this point, I'm worried that I'm gonna get caught in this. So I'm trying to kind of get away from that a little bit. Um, and then, this happens. So I, I had to stop the, the drone at that point and, and look at this thing. Unfortunately, I'm bouncing a little bit, but that's going to settle down. And then um, I really didn't expect what happened next. And I'm watching all of this up in the kayak. And at this point, I'm trying to get this thing back because he's grabbed onto it and he's kind of, you know, he's dug into his little home over there. And so I'm, you know, continually hitting the up button because there's an up button on the interface and I'm trying to get this back. And that's what part of the bouncing you're seeing is I'm continuously hitting that up button, but it, it's not budging. So, yeah, I am stuck at this point. He's got it. He's not letting go, and um, and also the you know the drone was way underneath the dock at this point, so it's going to be hard for me to get in there and actually do this by hand. But oh, he's got a good grip. Oh, finally, <laughs> and then yeah, okay. So now I'm I'm just bringing that camera up and and you know get it to safety. At this point, I'm hitting the uh, come home button. It's just going to come back to me. It's returning. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to go fishing today. All right, the first test very successful, and I, I see what to do next time, and uh, I expect some great video out of this thing. So, all right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and ring that notification bell.